Now I will turn that on not by pressing the button but by shorting this into positive simulating a high signal from a microcontroller or to a Raspberry Pi. I will, I will short it now. Successful! In this video, I'm going to show you how we can hack buttons on some devices like this camera this button here here as well also something like this this one has a button here and there's a button here as well so the instances that we're working on projects that we need to control these buttons using an arduino so how can or how shall we do that i actually need to do that in this project this is a blood pressure monitor and I need to have some kind of automation here on this start key. So I need to hook some wires there and then connect it to the Arduino so that I can control when the blood pressure should start pumping air on the cuff. Push buttons are usually pulled up or pulled down in a pulled up configuration if you don't press this push button the signal will be positive it will go here because this is open meaning if you hook this signal <coughs> pin to the Arduino you will get a 5 volts now if you press this button and it gets shorted the signal that you will get will be this that would be zero volts or ground because this resistor is higher in resistance compared to the switch ideally this is zero ohms and pulled up resistor are usually 10 kilo ohms that same goes with pull down configuration but on a reverse manner the pull the resistor is going down the ground so the default set the default signal if this is not pressed will be zero volts and if you press this the signal will now become five volts so the five volts you get it when you press this during if a, the a configuration of the push button is pulled down going back on this blood pressure monitor sensor we can look closely in this part the start key as you see it's the start key and if you observe closely there are exposed pins that are connected to the that connected to the pads but it has no connection like this one no this one has no connection this one seems to be connected this per maybe this is a ground same with this one but this one is connected only in this capacitor by observing this configuration, I can now see that the, the, the button is actually in a pulled up configuration. Because you see, this is the ground. This is the ground. And this is the signal pin. So, this P62 um, is the part where you get the signal. That's why there's a, point, a test point there that is P62. 62 going back now to my drawing i can say that p62 is the signal which is this one the p62 and the c5 would be this capacitor that is in parallel with the start key and this represents the start key if you ask me where is the pulled up resistor it could be somewhere hidden under this pcb board so let's verify if this is really ground and then from there, we can now start hooking some wires and then we can put it on a transistor. Now let's check if, if this point is really a ground. So this is the ground point here, from the battery input. And then this should beep if this is a ground. Now we validated that this is a ground. Let's now work on the circuit that we will add so that we can emulate this and then be controlled by the Arduino board. 
This is the circuit in the blood pressure monitor and we need to tap some kind of circuitry there that we can hook to Arduino because we cannot just put the Arduino pin, the, pin, pin there and then just control it with a digital I.O. We need some form of transistor switch so that we can have a good and smooth control. I now have here the circuits. We have three components, two resistors and a uh, a, a single transistor. The transistor can also be a MOSFET but for this example it, the BJT should work as well. What we need to do now is to connect this pin here in this here and then the ground should be on the ground as well. As you know what will happen is if we put a high high signal on Arduino it will bias the transistor so it will become a short replicating a, me a push mechanism here. So if this is low, this will be open so meaning it's just not being pushed. Just take note that this transistor will not be an ideal switch. Unlike this switch, when you press it hard, that will be an actual zero volts. But this this transistor will not be zero volts but it will depend depend on the type of bjt and if it's fet what is the rds on of the fet and if it's bjt what is the vce sat so it should be applicable on other circuits as well like this or other devices but you have to open it and then hook some wires there as well as this kind of fancy devices I have now the transistor that I'm going to use as a switch. It is a BC868 which is an NPN transistor with this configuration. There are other common NPN transistors like 2N222 or 2N3904 that can also fit on this application but I have some spare of this so this is the one that I will use. This is now the circuit that we're going to use and I actually already implemented that here on this board. Let's have a close look. This is the 1K resistor and this is the transistor. As you see here, the 1K resistor is connected to the base so it is connected on that base and then this wire will be this point where we will hook to an Arduino or to a Raspberry Pi. The collector should be connected here on the start key that will be this point which is also connected to here so I put a wire going there which is short also connected in this point of the button now the ground for the ground I just connect the emitter to that point which is also the ground so now I have a good connection for the base collector and then the emitter now we will see the functionality of this the functionality of this by putting this into a 3.3 volts or to a positive voltage if this is positive voltage this will be switch on and then this will be saturated which will emulate a push of the button now we have the setup here i already connected the positive and the negative supply simulating the batteries and then I also have here the, the trigger or the resistor base that would be this point, this point, the one on 1K that will be this long wire here. And then I also put the here, I also put this here that's also a positive going there. So this will bias this RB here. So if I connect that here, that should start the blood pressure monitor on measuring or pumping the air. I will now turn on the power supply. It beeps, it's now on, and then I will press this first. It's now working, so I'll turn that off. Now I will turn that on not by pressing the button but by shorting this into positive simulating a high signal from a microcontroller or to a raspberry pi i will i will short it now successful 
If you find this video interesting and useful, please share it, press the like button, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.